all this stealing, all this corruption, all these things has got at the core of it both the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary as, com as what they call uh, uh, the complementary. They complement one another in this fraud on the innocent Kenyans. On the innocent Kenyans. And it's primarily because of that. We have to have a system that is going to change vault fast in this country. Otherwise, we don't have a country. We don't have a country. We don't have, uh, Madam Speaker, can I have one minute? But we, don't, we don't have a country. We don't have a country for information. Look at the people crying and the wastage that is going on right now with the river. Look at Saiton and look at the 100,000. You have 30 seconds, Honorable Farah. And you, you look at all that. Where are we going? Are we waiting for us to get so tired that you have a popular revolution? People got to go out into the streets. Madam Speaker, we can't have this. We cannot, business cannot be as usual. We cannot keep on earning good salary, staying here as members of parliament, people in the executive become richer and richer, people in the judiciary becoming richer and richer, and the innocent Kenyans are suffering the way they're suffering. At one time, when I was a young man, I remember J.M. Kariki saying that this is a country of 10 millionaires and 10 million beggars. We have a problem. Even the difficulty with which they put these resources together, the elite from Alliance High School, from Nairobi University, from the top Ivy League universities, are the ones who are coming to steal from them. So this has become an industry. Drug labs and drug dealers are becoming governors and everything else in this country. So what is going to happen to the poor, poor, poor population of this country? Are we waiting for them to rise up against us? Politicians are not doing enough. Madam Speaker, I want to say that this has got to be the government must seek the compensation for that. Insurers must have been there. If CMA had played this role very well, these people would not be losing their money now. All that money should have been insured. But because it has not been insured, and I'm sure that's the case, and that's why they're losing because there's a complicity at all levels of the government itself. So this has got to stop. We cannot allow Kenyans being robbed and their hard-earned money and hard-earned properties being destroyed every day. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Member Fotetu. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise to also support the amendment by Honorable Atandi. At least he has made the report or his recommendations. I would uh, describe them as being specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time-bound. And it gives uh, the much-needed teeth to the uh, earlier general recommendations that were made by the committee. Madam Speaker, from the onset, I would like to say that uh, uh, the, our, our country, the landscape is lit. This is not the first time from the days of uh, Desi uh, we have seen uh, very many uh, of these schemes come and go and uh, it is very very unfortunate that now as a country uh, we are starting now to run uh, what I would call uh, economic uh, banditry where these uh, conniving, uh, these uh, uh, very very bright uh, 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 people who come disguised as businessmen come up with all these schemes but whose only objective is to defraud uh, innocent Kenyans of their hard earned catch. And uh, Madam Speaker, it's very important that uh, as we discuss this, uh, we should also call uh, in order the various uh, government agencies that are responsible for regulating our capital markets, for regulating uh, our financial markets, and even for regulating some of the other schemes that we have seen uh, you know, being uh, in the market. Madam Speaker, uh, in the case of Saiton, this is an organization that is uh, oversighted by the Capital Markets Authority. And uh, even as we uh, sit here uh, as a house uh, to um, uh, make the various recommendations as to what should happen to the directors, to the company, and the way forward, we must call out the Capital Markets Authority. Because when all these things were happening, and these things do not happen over, overnight, Madam Speaker, they happen over a period of years. These people advertise promising Kenyans returns of 40%. 60% per year. And Madam Speaker, I wonder, unless you are selling drugs, where do you get such returns on a wide scale? You know, Madam Speaker, I remember a company that was, uh, you know, uh, asking Kenyans to invest in greenhouses. And a Kenyan was only required to invest 200,000 in a greenhouse. But the promised returns were 400,000 per year. And I would ask myself as a common sense qu question, uh, as a common sense uh, Kenyan, why can't they do the investment themselves instead of asking other people to invest it? So such information should be quickly be picked up by the agencies. And I think here some people are sleeping on the job. CMA, 
BCI, NIS, whenever this information comes out in the open, they must be able to start 